Bye. There we go. Technology done. Hi, Brenda. So, I am Emma from Emma's Happy Place Arts and Crafts, and I'm a serial crafter. I also design my own paper kits and other stuff. And you can check out on my website, which is the banner that's here. I will take the banner off now, though, because I'm seeing all the birthday messages. Thank you so, so much. I had the best birthday. I was so spoiled and some of you you know who you are are naughty i got cookies and flowers and cards and you just thank you so much honestly thank you so so much but hello helen hello kim hello sheila hello lisa hello brenda uh anybody else that i missed i'm ever so sorry but tonight we are playing with rice paper now i got this little tub which i loved from the for three pound from the pound shop and i thought it would be really really pretty done with the rice papers now i was unsure if to paint it all or rice paper it all or whatever so we're just going to see what pops into my head as we go hence the not known hi phil i also have some news hi lana and peter and I thought tonight, I, well, I was going to wait and share it all on a specific day, but I'm so excited. So, as you know, I've been getting papers and things made for me, but I have saved up since the start of the website. And I now have a printer that will do it all in-house. So everything you get now will be made by me. And I'll have final say over things like that. Um, I've got some learning to do, but I can do everything that we need so far and yes so literally everything you get is made by me packed by me and designed by me and i'm so excited about it i hate having to wait for people i hate having to wait for orders um and now you don't have to i can just do it all here and yes i'm so excited it's an amazing printer it took three people to get it upstairs and i'm not even sure it should be upstairs i might have to come back down it's rather massive and basically let's just say the kids are living on by well, chris it's having beans for a while but i'm so excited about it so worth it and it's basically because of you all of you thank you so so much best birthday ever though oh, basically because of you as well Yes, but it'll be good that's all made in-house because then I don't have to wait for samples and things to come back. I can do it straight away, check it. Um, I can try on different papers and things. I can sort of... Because some of the stuff I was getting, I wasn't 100% happy with. And you know what? You know yourself when you're trying to... Helen, you've no idea how hard it's been. Honestly, I've, I've been so, so good. <laughs> And dad's credit card. But we'll, we'll not mention that bit, you know. Shh. But ha hi. But thank you so, so much. Right, back to this now. I've got these two rice papers. With the rice paper, the butterfly ones, I want to use clay underneath. Hi, Jane. I had a fabulous birthday and thank you so, so much. You really didn't, honestly, didn't have to. Nobody had to. I, d I don't expect anything off. You're so lovely definitely more friends than anything else i want to remove that now so the rice papers are on the website um there is some washi tapes on the website as well there's two different lots now so this one is botanicals leaves there's 20 different rolls with three meters on each and these ones are leaves and things with some music sort of stuff and some vintage and this one is the butterfly one i did start to put them on to a bit of card but I ran out of space at the bottom, so that is up until the last row, these ones. They're very nice. They're so very nice. Very vintage, very floral. So they are on. Oh, Helen, honestly, you don't, don't worry about it. I expect nothing. Just coming to see the lives is more than enough. 
no, Phil, no, I literally put it, I gave it to my dad. <laughs> Everything. But, so we're going to use clay with rice paper. I'm going to start off by painting this. What I have done though is I took a nail file or you could use sanding and I've just took whatever layer of shiny is off just so the paint adheres better and I'm going to use a white acrylic, you could use gesso but I'm going to kind of mix it with some purple around the edges because I want where the rice paper is going to go I want it to be white it's probably more purple than we need so we're going to start off with white all over the big bits and then the purple I kind of want to go around and inside and I'll do around here as well it doesn't take long to and you don't have to be too neat at this point because I am going to neaten it up with the purple I'll just open that now there was one in the pound shop that had the lid off and I did actually think about saying well could I have it for a pound but I thought no Emma don't don't be petty don't be petty they need to change the name and not everything's a pound don't be petty Emma over a couple of quid <laughs> it's very nice though I think it's for the bathroom like for um I don't know really what would you put in it what would you keep in here well that is that done it's not. Everything is pushed out. There's no tidy go sit. That's hardly ever been used because of Bella. Chris is, Chris is babysitting. Cotton wool. Yes, yeah, Stephanie. See, cotton wool. The white does cover lovely. It's the Pebio one. Opaque Pebio. Cotton balls. Yep. Oh, I'll tell you what I did get off my man for my birthday. Um, I'm sure I've mentioned to everybody about my weird skin. I'm allergic to anything that smells in. I got Liz Earl sensitive body stuff. It's like a cleanser and shower gel and it's like a moisturizer cream. So far, so good. It's lovely. I've got a tester for Christmas. That's what she does now. She gets us testers to try it out. Bath crystals, perfect. It could be a perfect gift, couldn't it? I was thinking more along the lines of rubbers and things from my desk. Pencil sharpness, you know, all the little uh, paper clips and things. I've lost the purple paint. It was in the bathroom section anyway. Oh, I do need this quite dry to do the next bit. So. So, yes, if you've got weird skin, Liz Earl is quite good. It smells nice too. Bella loves the taste of it. All she's done is lick me arm all day. Please do like and share the live. Oh, we have flashed off there. Is everybody still here? Well, Jane, that's what it is, because she's got, well, we've all got, we're all a bit strange, to be fair, with smells and things like that. But to be honest, the last um, thing I was allergic to was bath pills. And then the last three years, it's like my skin's just gone, nope. So there's loads of stuff. I've got ridiculous amounts of smellies and things, which I can't even use. Um, I tend to find I'm okay with a lush bath bomb as long as I have a shower after <laughs> and wash it off. Oh, Phil, that would be lovely. Thank you so much. You don't have to, though. Just send, send us a picture, honestly. Right, so I don't want to waste this particularly. I am going to... Just because, I know you won't mind, cover this quickly. And this is something we're going to do later. So bear with. I do not want to waste that white paint. <laughs> right, I'll start covering that. And this is the start of a video I'm doing. So when the video goes up, that's what I've done to make it white. And then I am going to grab a smaller brush, this one. Yeah, sisters are very good at that. Very, very good. I've got one sister who won't though. She won't even use nail varnish if somebody else has used it. And this, I'll probably 
do another coat of this after but I thought it would go with the rice paper perfect so just take your time did I say hi Julie oh the the clear thing it's um iron orchid designs the mold um Lorna showed us hers and Lo it's Lorna's fault anyway grumpy came through for me but anyway yeah I I've got I got new toys basically I had a lovely day and do I know what I did I just took Bella out I did some washing I hoovered my sitting room um I had a lovely day we just relaxed really and I got off Bella and Christopher it was signed um a cup it says I don't need therapy I just need my frog <laughs> Right, I would do inside of here and this bit, but I don't want it to stick just yet. So I've obviously, actually, I do. I don't want to waste the paint either. I want it to match inside. I could have left it the wood, but that would be too easy. Oh, oh. yeah, the cup is fabulous. Absolutely, fa I'm so spoiled. You've no idea. I'll, I'd, 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 I'm always shocked and I don't know why. Like even just the, everybody who took the time to say happy birthday. I mean, wow. I mean, Facebook never tells me when people's birthdays are. So when everybody knows it's mine, I'm a bit like, how do they know? But, you know. One day I'll find out. There we go anyway. So that is that. I'm going to clean this bit up and then get onto the rice paper if I can find my cloth. I found some reusable um, kitchen roll as well. I'm going to use up what I've got and then all you do is you throw it in the washer. Um, I got it from the pound shop for £3 as well. Yeah, only because I, I mentioned it to you lot, but I don't think everybody watches on Facebook. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to wrap this around because it's kind of non-directional and I don't want it to, there. So I've nicked away the edges and all I'm going to do is grab a brush and I'm going to wet it. Now, again, I'm not bothered if this is wonky because I can blend it in with um, paint after. And get this edge off as well. Just like this. And the butterfly one, what we're going to do is we're going to cut that out. Like fussy cut it out with scissors so it's not fluffy. Because I want that quite noticeable. Now this isn't going to be the right length. I already know that. Like the width. But we can blend it in. I just want this fluffy. The rice papers are fabulous to use. Like I say, they're a bit more um, robust than some rice papers. But it's worth it. I find it worth it. Because you can, it kind of covers more. I'm yet to try it on fabric, well, to wash it on fabric, but watch this space. I'm guessing it'll be fine with a fabric medium, but I need to check it first before I can actually 100% say. Your ATCs were fabulous. And I love rice paper. I really do. The possibilities are endless. And this is matte medium. I like to use matte. You can get a glossy and not using the stupid big brush under the camera, Emma. Let's go for a smaller one. Oh, this is not, this isn't a heavy body one. This is quite a light one. But you can use heavy body, you can use liquid, you can use watered down PVA, whatever suits you. You can even use a glossy one if you want to shine to it. Oh, look at that. We've got some purple going on. All the way around. And then what you can do is you can either spray 
the rice paper with a little bit of water and that will help it go round or you can sort of paint it with the matte medium as well. I am just dampening it down and I'm going to wrap it and because we've got this bit here what I'll do is I'll just piece it in with another bit and just go back over with a little bit of glue over the top and you can lift it up and move it if it needs it. There's quite a bit of workability in there. There we go. Mm, just get it all down a bit, glue over the top. Just secures it 100%. And that's it, easy as that. Um, I would always make sure that you haven't got a dark like a black underneath or something because it will shine through and make it less vibrant but even if you get a crease in it or something it just makes it look more vintagey so don't overthink it I say, but if they do get on your nerves just lift it up and sort of pull it and that's why I want it a little bit heavier just there we go so far, so good. Yeah, the, these are in the pound shop. The um, words, Emma, words, words, words. What the, what's the word I'm looking for? The wipes. <laughs> the wipes is where I got the pound shop. This is where I got the reusable. E my gosh. You would think I was tired. Kitchen roll from. So this bit. We don't need much and I'm thinking this bit and it'll blend in totally fine because we're going to make it so it's um well you'll see having the fluffy edge doing it with the water helps everything blend in much better which I'm guessing you probably already know do there see I never be, only I only went to the pound shop because we took Bella to Pets at Home, to the toy shop. There we go. And if you don't spray it with water, just pop a little bit more glue on and it will stick as well. You just need to use a little bit more glue. But you can't really tell. Now, we'll blend that out as well. Now, I want to show you something because I want to know what you think. You know what I was saying about getting the dyes and things? out just to do one circle well i got a new toy and it's this and i want to show you how to use it so you just pick the size of the circle that you want i haven't got these in yet i want to ask what you thought before i bothered and um, just check it's going to be all you do is you take the little cap off and I don't know how well it'll work on rice paper. It works perfect on other paper. But I am going to wet around the edge of this as well to take it off. I just needed a basic circle like that. I'll show you on cardstock actually because that's where... Whoa. And then you can tell us what you think. I'll do it over the washi and stuff. Move it down. All you do is... Hold it still. Look at that. And I will use that. How cool is that? I went looking the other night after I was twisting about getting the circle die out. Oh, Phil, do you drive? Is it driving that you do? I'm going to wet around the edge because I do want it fluffy as well. And then we're going to move on to the butterfly. So this is the background. Hence, I wasn't so bothered about the flower. My life. I know when I was young, my dad used to, um, like, he would get up and go to work at half three in the morning. And it would be nearly eight o'clock by the time he would come back. But I thought laws and things had changed. I honestly didn't think they would be allowed to do that now. 
Right. Where does that open? Because this is going to be the top. So that is going to go on there. And again, I am going to blend it in. Oh, plenty of this on. Give it a spritz with water. And that will go onto there. And again, just the glue over the top. And then, this is the fun bit. I'm going to pop that there. And I'm going to take this butterfly. I had cut the big one out, which is this one, but it's going to be slightly too big. So I'm going to do this one at the top, which is a little bit smaller. You need a circle thingy, right? I'll get some in. It's just, it's just so handy to live on your desk. And I tend to use quite a lot of circles. But I didn't want to get the load in if nobody was interested in them. I just thought it was such a cool little, little thing. Right, now I've got white clay for this bit. You can use any air dry clay at all. I would definitely wouldn't use uh, oven clay for this. Any air dry clay, the cheapest of the cheap will do because we're literally just going to use it to give it height. There we go. Super easy peasy. The super I found it super handy and I've only had it a few days, literally. Do you know when I said I was twisting? What day was that? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It literally came last night. Because I found them Sunday. Anyway, yeah. I just thought it was so canny. And this bit, you sort of just push on the top and it keeps it still. And then there's just a blade and it goes up to four and a bit inch circles. So it's quite big. Anyway. I just thought I'd ask, and this is going to live on the. Now, the clay I've got is an air dry clay. It's a female one, and I think it's like three quid on Amazon's this one. I'm not so keen on it. It's not, oh, it's grey. Oh, it was white. Hmm. Okay, I'll show you how to get around that as well. I just want a little bit out. What I am going to do, though, is take some white acrylic and paint the back of the rice paper. Oh, 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 that's got purple on. Bear with while I just clean my brush. <gasps> Comic Con. Are you going to Comic Con? I loved the one in New. Well, I took um, Daniel to the one in America, and then I took them both to the one in Newcastle. So all I'm doing is the back of the rice paper because I really don't want the grey to show through. And I'm just giving it a quick coat of white, but I'm moving it so nothing goes underneath. And you can do this on any rice paper at all. There we go. And then I'll just pop it to the side to dry off when I clean this up. And then I'm going to bring it back and use that as a template for the size of the bits of clay. Ooh. Oh, I don't want loads. Comic Con is superheroes, Back to the Future, um, Alien versus Predator. We had an Alien one that was well, there was an Alien dressed up as Alien, and Predator and they were walking through Newcastle. Um, Daniel went as oh, I can't remember what he went as, but I wore my DC, which is Superman and things headband. <laughs> and I met the Joker in his nurse's outfit. It was awesome. Right, I'm going to stick with these sizes and then flatten them down. So I'm doing is I'm sort of putting it up against it and deciding just on the size of the clay that I want to use. Yeah. That's what I've just said, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> there was the, the Back to Future car was at um, London. It was brilliant. I met my future husband, which is Thor's stunt double. Oh, a little bit more. Dear me. I'm not very really good at judging the size of this, am I? Well, all I'm doing is rolling it kind of into an egg shape. That'll do. And then I want to clean my hands off because I really don't want to get grey clay all over this bit when I, oh, I was saying that I'm going to touch it again aren't I oh. 
that will go onto there and I'm going to push it down and flatten it here and the same with this side flatten it down there and I might have to cut a little bit off I might have made it a bit too big but we'll work we'll work through it it's trial and error and if I do have to cut it off what I'll use is hmm where's it gone this will do this is a clear tool I'm thinking this might be a bit too high so what I'll do is I'll just take a chunk out like that tuck it in and we'll do the same with this side and this can go back in the packet no problem and if you use the paper clay or the Katie Sue one it's a lot lot easier right and then I'm gonna go back to this and you can put the clay onto here first if you want and then do this but what I'm doing is I find it a little bit easier and then you just sort of glue it on and you kind of manipulate it and go for less clay if you're unsure about it and just start off small and then all the way around the edge and it will stay and it will stick And it will be a 3D effect butterfly. Oh, sorry, nudging the camera. Just keep going with it. And it will all stay down. And even if you made the butterfly bigger, you could have it all sort of um, fluffed off to the side and it would totally blend. But I'm quite liking this. Look. And you can maneuver a little bit and give it a bit more shape if you want i just feel like it looks like it's in flight at the minute oh. with it being a little bit thicker rice paper as well you can kind of manipulate it a bit more when it's dry you will see it's so much better which i will show you saturday because i am going to go live saturday and sunday this week and then christopher has his freedom back a bit So I say little Bella has proven to be quite needy. There we go. Look how cool that looks. And you don't have to use as much if you don't want to to make it as sticky up. And you don't have to cut the butterfly out. You can sort of wet the edges and then have it frilling out of the side. But you, well, you know me, I want to do all sorts to it. But that there will be a 3D top and then you can decorate the top however you want. Um, I am going to find that purple paint or a purple paint, something similar. Where's it gone? I kind of want it to match the butterfly a bit. Oh, there it is. And I'll mix it with the white. So it's a lighter version of it. Are you going to draw on it? Uh, I might, I might not. I'm unsure yet what to do. I never know what I'm going to do until I get there, really, which is a bit useless. I'm getting a bigger brush. Well, I'm going to snap the end off my brush so I can fit it under the camera, but it's a little bristle one. And taking the white and the purple and start blending it in. It's super easy. Um, I'm concentrating. If I start heavy breathing, I'm sorry. Dark around the edge. And yeah, this could have even been in green to follow on from the paper, but I really wanted. A sort of purpley colour, like the colour of the butterfly. 
You know that link go through. I don't think I could plant where you've seen what happens when I plant stuff. It goes wrong. <laughs> the amount of times I had stuff planned when I was on creating craft and her chanda, and I would drop things and I would lose things and I'd forget my own plan. Um I know a lot of people do like a plan though, but I, I just kind of can't, can it. But you all see the plan come together and then it's like a plan when you, if you want to try it. So technically, technically I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> unintended pun good one though oh more purple uh, it might have been a better plan to go with the green or whatever but i actually really quite like the purple and then the darker will go through the middle of here and it will totally be covered because i give it that first coat What I would suggest doing though is once this is sort of touch dry is opening and closing the lid so it doesn't stick. Now we've got loads of space on the top of here. What I would do with this is exactly the same there. I won't do it now because we could be here till Christmas. But you know how I said I had bags of sea glass. You know what I think would look absolutely lovely. I'll dry this off a little bit. That, that's good, Jane. That's good. My plan was to use rice paper and decorate this jar that I found on Saturday. That was literally the plan. Oh, the clear, the clear was a last minute thing when I saw it at the corner of my eye, but I did think it was white. White and the paper, the like the foam clay or the um, Katie Sue would work so much better. This is like a heavy clay, but it's done the trick. And you could have little flowers on here, you know, the little rope, um, what they're called, the paper roses and things. I'm looking around to see if I've got any, we could add some of them, I don't think I have. Mm, none to hand, but sorry, we'll stick with the rice, the, the rice, the glass, the sea glass, which, might not stick because you know what I've done with it? I've put baby oil on it to give it a shine. And I don't think I've rubbed it off. I'm going to take acrylic glue as well, this one. You can, it, it, underneath and on the top, you need both. If you just put it on the top, it won't stick. Just at random. You sort of just sort of rub the last little bit of rice paper over the top. And I already had paint on the back of this one. So that would have stuck the clay to it and the paper to the clay. I'm thinking. Just at random. And then we can maybe add some glitter as well. So everybody get, get to your local beach and pretend you're not taking the sea glass. And have some green bits so it blends that bit in as well. There's some lovely little bits. This sea glass, I've had for ages, the idea for this sea glass was jewellery, but clearly I have more ideas than time. Oh, you know, if you've got, um, I've seen in garden centres and things, the pretty pebbles that glow in the dark and things. Especially if it's going in the bathroom, it would look fabulous if you decide to have a a lit, a uh, candle lit bath or something. Does anybody do that? I've got friends that do, but I've never had one. Candle lit bath. <laughs> Uh, 
I think they'll stick, even though they've got baby oil on some of them. But that is another trick if you're um, washing your sea glass. Put some baby oil in your hands and then just rub it and it sort of makes it shine. Not forever, but it definitely shines it up. Never had a bath for 25 years. Yeah, me mum and dad have just got a shower. Candlelit shower, maybe. <laughs> yeah, sh shower's much more practical, isn't it, really? <laughs> no, I've got friends and they like put face masks and things on. I'm loving that. What are we thinking? I'm not going to call it done because we know I'll find something else to go on. And obviously, I want to paint the inside and stuff. But if I keep going with it and doing it, everything will just stick together. Oh, was the shower? Yeah. See, that's the same. My mum and dad haven't got a uh, bath anymore. They took theirs out and they've just got the shower. And at one point, I just had a bath and the boys absolutely loved going to grandma's house for a shower when we had no boiler. The boiler went off. I literally took them over there because it was school night. And the pair of them, you'd think they'd never seen water before. They loved it. Soon change when they got a bit bigger. Now, just for Helen, I know she wants the little things on. I think I might use wire. Do I have any wire? Do I have any wire? I've got this, but it's it's not white, it's not bendy wire. I don't want to use that. I'll come back to it, Helen, but I do have some micro beads which would look fabulous on it. Little micro beads. Mm. Stay there. Little gold micro beads. Now I should probably wait for everything to dry. But you know, you know, you know. I really hope that grey with putting it on isn't going to show through with it being wet. I maybe should have. I would definitely go for a white clay. Let's just put it that way. I can kind of see it looking a bit dull here in the light, but you never know. I will have to lift this up for you to see because when I see the micro beads, the tiny, tiny, tiny little beads. And they're going everywhere. Be prepared if you use micro beads. You waste more than you actually use. Because they go everywhere. But they don't hurt when you stand on them because they're so tiny. Bonus. And the jump. No matter what you work on. Yeah, the, the feel of things. I only know because I, I can't remember words either. And I use stuff like that. <laughs> Abbreviations. Oh, can we see? Can we see it or not? There we go. I don't know if I can see. Can we see them? Kind of see them. But there we go. I'm going to stop. I might get some wire to put the feelers on. But when you next see is this will be blended in and the inside will be painted and I'll be able to show you much better. In the meantime, I am going to open it and let it sort of sit to all dry. But can you see what I mean about the grey starting to show through in places? I'm just hoping that's just because it's actually wet still off the glue and once it's dry, it'll go back to being opaque. But, and I might, we'll see what happens with this, but I love it so far. Like I say, I do need to finish off inside and things like that. But as a gift, you could put a candle in for a gift, um, soap in for a gift if you don't want to keep it. There's loads of stuff you could do. That's very true, Jane. Very, very true. That's what I would do. Because you do get two sheets of each and the rice papers. Let's see, on the website, I've got the... Mark making rice papers as well. And if that does show through, I will probably, that's probably what I'll do. I'll just put another butterfly. I was thinking I'll paint it, but you get two of each one. So 
Yes, and I love I love adding the seed glass and things. In the meantime, though, while well, this is going to dry, because I haven't got it here as one I made earlier, you'll see it on Saturday at 7 p.m., I want to say, but I will pop a post up with the time changes. And have a lovely rest of the week. And I hope everybody's okay with this change into a Saturday. Like I say, it's just it's just for the extra child I've got now. She's a pain in the neck. Ah, oh, Judy. <laughs> Next time. You can share me live though if you want, lovely. I'll be live on Saturday and Sunday this week. But obviously you know where I am if you need this in the meantime. Once this is dry, I'll get a picture. And I think I'm going to have to get some different feet for it. Because it's wonky now. It's like... You can tell it's from the pound shop. The three pound shop. Have a lovely evening. Um, keep a lookout for any posts going up because the paints are coming back and the coins. I've got some different coins. The new washi tapes are on and I've got the punches coming back by the end of the week. And yes, have a lovely week and the lovely rest of the week. I'll see you Saturday. Lots of love. Bye for now. I'll leave it open, Sarah. I'll do it now. There we go. Thank you. Bye.